Is it time to buy or sell Meta stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Meta. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, April 27, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since January 3, 2023, our system has ranked Meta as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of 0.00. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. During this period, the stock has outperformed our expectations, with a gain of 91.25% since we first recommended buying Meta 80 days ago. This translates to an average return of 1.14% per day since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. A score of zero indicates that our system anticipates high volatility and risk for the following trading day. Given the latest developments, we are unable to determine the stock's next direction, as it could go either way. The stock lies in the upper part of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short-term trader as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $245.11 will firstly indicate a stronger rate of rising. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 31.93% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 16.35% and 35.55%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 0.436% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 62.36% and 0.436%. This translates to a price range of $89.79 to $239.60 after a year. Our latest daily update for Meta includes the headline, Meta stock price up more than 13.93% on Thursday. The Meta stock price gained 13.93% on the last trading day, Thursday, April 27, 2023, rising from $209.40 to $238.56. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.05% from a day low at $236.82 to a day high of $241.68. The price has fallen in 7 of the last 10 days but is still up by 8.26% over the past 2 weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 38 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 71 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $16.86 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $241.68, and the lowest price was $88.09. Currently, the price is 1.29%, or $3.12, below the 52-week high, and 37.93%, or $145.77, below the all-time high on September 1, 2021, when the price reached $384.33. The following signals have been identified for Meta. The Meta stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $215.71 and $207.42. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Monday, February 27, 2023, and so far it has risen 40.71%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, buy signal 43 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 1 day ago. Short term moving average, buy signal 2 days ago. Long term moving average, sell signal not applicable days ago. 
The relation between the short and the long moving averages holds a sell signal. If we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average by signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average by signal 76 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages by signal 72 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Meta On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $204.93 and $188.77. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Meta finds support just below today's level at $204.93. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $188.77 and $186.53. This stock is usually traded at a good volume, and with minor daily changes, the risk is considered to be low. During the last day, the stock moved $4.86, 2.05%, between high and low. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.98%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Meta, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 25, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Meta. There's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, Meta encounters its first support level at $204.93. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Meta from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were executed by Neusta Jennifer, who bought and sold 1,965 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 16.468. Overall, insiders purchased 138,522 shares and sold 193,826 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $229.97, minus 3.60%. This stock has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 42 days ago. Is Meta stock a good buy? Meta holds several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Friday, April 28th, we expect Meta to open up $0.460 and start trading at $239.02. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.